In this video, we learn about the topic named as granularity. What exactly it says? In short, if I say in simple terms, granularity means breaking down into small pieces. That's a simple definition I can say. Now I'll show you practically what I mean to say here. Suppose if I pick up this one measure from here, that is a profit. If I pick up and drop into the columns. Second, if I pick up this sales and drop into the rows. And if you observe, I'll be getting sum of sales and sum of profit into one dimension, one dot itself. So that is profit is this much and sales is given this much. So how many cards I have total? If you observe, I have only one mark, one row by one column. There's only one mark which I have. So if I want to break this one point into different pieces, I can use this dimensions separately. Now, for example, if I if I pick up this option as if I drag down, if I pick up this ship mode and drop into the colors. Now, if you observe that single point has been broken into uh, four points, one, two, three, four. And if you see what are the four different points, so this is nothing but known as granularity. So from one point, if you're breaking to four different points, that is granularity. And if you observe here, there are four marks which are given here. Let's see if I want to divide more in this place, I'll pick up the another one. Let's say if I pick up this category and if I put into this size field itself, size marks card. So now if you see the size also changing and if you count total of them, if you count everything, the total would be as 12 marks. So these are nothing but breaking down into separate pieces. That is granularity. Now, sometimes it becomes very tedious if you have more marks or you can say more categories here. So if I just pick up this option, let's say customer name and this one customer name. And if I drop into this colors part, there are so many customers in my database. And if you observe the granularity has become as very high. So total 2387, these are the total number of dots or the uh, symbols which will be having in this entire place. If you see that's a shapes which is automatically converted here. So that is nothing but known as granularity. So based on your dimension, on your requirement, you can keep on breaking it. Let's see one more example. If I create a new sheet here, right now if I pick, the, pick up this sales and drop it to the rows, I have no given here. These are total sum of sales and total I have how many granularity that is one mark. If I want to divide into details, let's say based on the category, so I'll pick up this category and if I drop into this columns, so now they are broken into three different marks, if you see, so I'm just drilling down into details about it. So if you see, there are three marks which are given. So like this, you can keep on creating for map chart, bum chart and different types of chart itself. And you can understand what is the topic all about here. So I hope you have understood in detail what is granularity topic all about. That's all for this video.